Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm bringing back my verses. So we've had one previous episode of verses, and basically, it's where I read books from the same genre, and then I give you a recap of what they're all about, and I tell you what I rated them and which one I paired two up and then I tell you which one was my favorite and then between the two winners of both rounds we have like a head-to-head -head finale and I tell you which one was my favorite I think it's really cool I did it with thrillers for the first episode which I'll link up here somewhere and this time I'm going to do contemporaries. What? You don't read contemporary? I know. But I've been loving my contemporary reads right now. So it's weird. But you know what? I'm going to go with it. So the first two are by the same author. And they were both five star readings for me. So that is By Your Side by Casey West, which is a story about Autumn who gets locked in the library over the weekend and she thinks she's alone. Little does she know the guy she hates is locked in the library too. Dun dun dun! What could happen over one weekend with the guy she hates and I'm sorry that I keep using quotes when I say hates because I don't think they really hated each other they just didn't really know each other very well they didn't give either one the time of day until they got locked in a library together it was so adorable and then there's the fill-in boyfriend by Casey West so this one is about Gia who gets dumped right before prom by her college boyfriend Bradley and she sees some guy sitting in a truck who saw the whole thing happen. He's about the same age as Bradley so she asks him to be her prom date and be the fill-in Bradley, the fill-in boyfriend. So I didn't think I was going to like a uh, fake dating trope but it was so cute they're both really adorable uh this other than being locked in a room with some guy because i'm married uh well i mean i guess i could be locked in the library with my husband but i would just sit there and read so <laughs> i don't know but that Part of it I really liked, although for being locked in the library, they were kind of like really sad about it. I would have been excited to read books, you know. And then uh, the fill-in boyfriend was just gave me the fill-in boyfriend just gave me all the feels in the world. It was heartbreaking at parts really emotional. I cried because I was happy, but I also cried because I was sad, but I cry all the time, so that's not really saying anything. But I absolutely loved both of these. The fill-in boyfriend is the winner, though, because it's just, it's got a little bit of everything, you know? There's a little bit of heartache and pain. There's a lot of love and... I, it's really fluffy well maybe not really fluffy but there's a good amount of fluff but it's the perfect amount the next two that I have going against each other are more hard hitting contemporaries so I've already talked about this one before but I'm going to talk about it again too is the way I used to be so this one's a very hard-hitting emotional read 
It is about Edie who gets raped by her brother's best friend. And basically, uh, Kevin is his name. He was basically like a brother to her her entire life. And then he raped her the summer before high school started for her. And her family, like before she got the chance to really talk to them and tell them what had happened, she tried on multiple occasions, but they kept shutting her down and telling her how Kevin was such a good guy and how everyone loves Kevin and basically they didn't really want to listen to her. I mean, but who, like, and it was already hard enough for Eden. And then when she goes to school, uh, someone close to Kevin slut shames her. And then she starts getting isolated and bullied and her life goes way down. And uh, there are glimmers of hope throughout this book. Like not all of it's horrible and bad like that, but there are definitely trigger warnings for rape and addiction and pretty much every trigger warning you can think of is in this book. It was very emotional and hard to read at times, but I'm really glad that I read it and I think that you would be too if you gave it a shot. And then the other one, I don't know if it's quite fair for the other one that I picked, but I usually just do the, like, the books of the same genre that I read around the same time. This one's kind of a hard-hitting contemporary, but I don't think it's as hard-hitting. It's definitely not as hard-hitting as the way I used to be. Okay, so the second book for round two is The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. I'm not sure if it's completely fair because, yes, these are both kind of hard-hitting contemporaries. This one's very hard-hitting, very emotional. This one's kind of hard-hitting, but it's kind of light and fluffy, too, so it's kind of in the middle. Not as hard-hitting as this one. But this follows Rin, who gets snowed in to an airport and at, in Denver and she's kind of running around the airport and she smacks into this guy who has the same exact phone as her and they accidentally swap phones in the collision and it's really bad for Rin because she has one unread text message that she's had for the past year of her life. She hasn't read it. It's from her best friend who died a year before that. It was the last thing, the last form of contact she ever had, or her best friend sent her, and she was scared to read it. So it's kind of like this adventure romance? So, after they switch phones, like, she doesn't find out for a while, and when she finally does find out, she's heartbroken. And then she has to track down one guy that she only saw for a minute, and see if she can track him down and get her phone back. And then you know, a chance meeting happens with a really cute guy, so they start, like, talking at the airport, and it was really cute. Uh, I thought it would be more hard-hitting, honestly. I was expecting it to be kind of hard-hitting and an emotional ride for me, but I got more of a fluffy, uh, fun read. It was 
honestly, it's just a good time. It's really easy to get through. It looks kind of big, but I think I finished it in like six hours. And it was just, it was just an easy, fun read. Compared to the way I used to be being a hard-hitting, rip your heart out and make you, like, <sighs> rip your soul out and make you cry yourself to sleep. So, obviously, the way I used to be is my winner for this round because it just made me feel things more than the chaos of standing still. I still highly recommend both. The Chaos of Standing Still is more of a fun, fluffy read if you want one of those. I would recommend, I just read it recently in the summer, but I would recommend reading it in the winter because it takes place around New Year's. So it would be like a really good winter read. It's blue and it also has like snowflakes on it. So I think that would be perfect for this book. But that means we're on to round two, which is my favorite fluffy contemporary that I've read lately, which is The Fill In Boyfriend by Casey West. And my favorite hard hitting contemporary which is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. So both of these are amazing five-star reads. I recommend them both. And they both give you the feels. This one gives you like the fluffy feels of a love story that is just, again, another super easy, fluffy read just you sit down and by the time you don't even realize it, but you're finished with the book. The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith was so hard for me to read because the content is so heavy. But I personally love heaviness to my books. I don't always want a fluffy good time, although I have been enjoying those lately, but I do tend to go with the books that may break my heart and make me feel just destroyed completely. And the way I used to be definitely did that for me. So the winner of this versus is the way I used to be. But like I said, I would not recommend it to everyone. I am putting heavy trigger warnings on here. It, it was very hard and emotional and heavy, but that's the type of book that I love. Uh, I love those kind of gritty, hard to read books because I feel like those are the books that need to be the read the most. Those are the ones that are going to stay with you for a really long time. This book I read two weeks ago and I'm still like, it still breaks my heart and it's still with me. So I definitely recommend this. Actually, I recommend all four of these, but I guess in order it would be one, two. Ooh, now I have to do these. Oh, okay. Three, The Chaos of Standing Still. And then the fourth one is By Your Side. These are all amazing books. And I would recommend everyone read them. Well, maybe not everyone. Like I said, this one's not for everyone. But these are all five-star books. I have, I think this is the most amount of five-star books and favorite books that I've read recently that are going to be added to my favorite shelf. So my reading 
for this month is going so good. Uh, thank you for watching this verses with me. Please give it a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video where I pit books against each other. I love doing it, but I just want to make sure you guys like it. And subscribe to my channel where we are always talking about books, pit each other, you know, pit books against each other. Sometimes I have my puppies in them videos, but he's scared right now because it's rainy and there's thunder and lightning, so he doesn't want to be filmed when he's scared. But thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!